Alright gang, welcome back to Dad's Coffee Break. My name is James and today I am taking a break with more Banished. So, we have, um, I think, pretty successfully navigated the um, situation with the aging population and are slowly coming back, but I think really the bigger issue now is going to be food. Um, our stockpile is starting, it has really just plummeted. And while I built another fishing dock, it, it really isn't in the best spot it could be. We have a cherry tree orchard up here, which is producing some food this year, thank goodness, but I don't know if it's going to be good enough to rebuild our stockpiles from last time. So that really is what I'm going to focus on today. Make sure that everybody's fed. And I think, honestly, it's just going to start by building a big farm right here. I might pull some people off um, stone cutting or maybe even, well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe stone cutting or even forestry to uh, work the farms. Because the problem is, now that our population is bouncing back, we're just not going to have the food. I don't think we're going to be able to make it through winter. So that's going to become, I think, top priority here. Right, three farmers. Yeah, let's. Fortunately, dang it. Died. Okay, fishermen died. No, nobody, nobody is available to replace them. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull two foresters away. And let's switch this. Let's do wheat. And I'm going to put the two on that. Um, okay, I'm going to top off my farmers. Well, you know what? They're not going to... It's already early autumn. I don't think they're going to be able to produce anything this year. But, oh yeah, I think we're okay. I think that's going to be good. So hopefully they can bring in some new food. Um, hopefully these cherry trees can help top us up food wise and we can make it through the winter because I really think starting next year it's going to start to be a problem okay <clears throat> so other than that the other thing I want to do this time around is probably start or not start but continue our expansion um, off into kind of this corner of the landmass I think what I'll do, I'm going to pause this for now though. I think what I'll do is probably use this space to build houses, maybe um, another stockpile. But they do have the market right here, so it should be fine. So probably just houses. Oh, got three workers. So I'm going to actually put them on fishing duty and on forester duty. Because we're going to need some um, firewood. Though, that stockpile's doing pretty pretty well right now. And then what I'm going to use this space up here for is uh, farms. I think just pure farms. I might free up some of that land for building as time goes on. If I find that the, um, the food stockpile is growing at a decent rate. But until that time, I think I'm just going to use it for... Um, for farming. Because so really right now, I mean, our biggest challenges are food, number one. And then two is just making sure that iron is continuously being fed to our blacksmith and we have enough tools being built. Or being made, anyway. So, in that, I really feel, we already have the mine down. So I really feel like that is going to just come from increasing population and increasing food production. But that will have more miners to work the mine, more iron. Hopefully, that solves our tooling problem. Okay, we've got a total of 66 colonists. So that's not too bad. We're in early winter. 
and food stockpile is pretty much at zero. So that's not good. Okay. Dialed during childbirth, that must have been. And then as we kind of grow, as we build more farms, I'm going to un uh, unpause this school. I think it's about time. I think the adults are just going to be so much more efficient once we have that schoolhouse down. My biggest concern in the previous episodes was just not having enough laborers, especially with the aging population. But now that we're starting to... Um, is all gone. Now that we're starting to slingshot back, I think thinking about the school might be a, might be a good idea. We'll see. Don't see anybody. Don't see anybody too hungry yet. But we'll give it a, a little bit of time. Just thinking about this, what I'm gonna do We also need a town hall. Okay, we're in late winter, thank goodness. How large is the town? Quite large. And unfortunately, it won't fit in this space. That's too bad. Okay, but it would fit right there. But housing wouldn't fit there. Okay, 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 let's think about this. Server firewood is low. Interesting. They're probably just playing catch up from the winter time. But now that it's early spring, um, hopefully they can replenish this stockpile. Okay, hopefully those farmers are out doing their job. Okay, I'm gonna pause this house. So I don't think I'm gonna build the town center right there. I think what I'm gonna do is build more houses you know just add to them add to the food problem and then oh man blacksmith died oh that's not good that is not good we're starting to go hungry. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do before those houses get built, I think I'm actually gonna run the road up and just start to plan out how I wanna lay this all out. I think farms on this side and then the fishing dock right there. Gonna make a circle around this lake. So we're still sitting at about 67 total colonists. Which isn't terrible. Okay. These are unpaused, so. I just need the builders, really, in order to place them. But I'm not gonna take anybody off food production, so. What I'm thinking is maybe log supply is still decent. I'm going to take a forester off and put them as a builder. We really need another laborer on that, but I don't. I am not taking anybody else off. Especially with more people starting to go hungry. Yeah, this is not going to be good. But hopefully this can really help 
build up our food stockpile. And then as more laborers come into the... Uh, become available, we can start getting more farms now. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna put them on building duty right now, and then... It's late spring. Probably not great for... Probably not great for farming at this point, but... Dang. Okay, miner, miner. So we lost two miners. And a trader. And a child has died of starvation. Okay, so this is becoming a major issue now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... Okay, so those houses are done. We're not gonna build any more houses. We're just gonna focus primarily on food. Just gonna start putting down farms right here. For people to work, we'll move them um, eventually. Uh, that was garbage. Let me delete that really quick. There we go. Yeah, it's not the most organized, but you can just get some food production going. Because it is, yeah, people are starting to die of starvation. This is not going well. Okay, put them on farming duty. Okay, they're starting to the harvest, so thank goodness we can at least get some food in our stockpile. Fishermen are topped off. Um, okay. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna keep them as a laborer because somebody else is gonna die of starvation. Wheat. Beans. Is that two? That is two. Oh, man. What's this? Mission. Okay, screw this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Tell them not to work that one, because I need somebody to work this one. Harvest the rest of that food. Wow. All right. So now back down under 60 colonists. We've lost quite a few people. Okay, I'm actually going to pull a couple of these vendors off. Place a farmer. Place a hunter. It's early autumn, hopefully. Put a fisherman down. Oh, and our woodcutters are gone. That's not good. Okay, let us. Gonna take a couple fishermen off and put the woodcutters back to work. And that's gonna be important, especially with winter coming up. Doing well. Doing well. You know, getting through it. Yeah. What we might end up doing. I don't think, I think, I don't think we have a traitor at this point. I think the last one passed away and we never replaced him. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, reserve of firewood is low because didn't have anybody working there to top off the stockpile. Okay. 
Doesn't look like anybody's going hungry at the moment. That'll change, but that's okay. I think we'll do. I'm gonna clear this land over here. Tee it up to build um, more houses and more farms. Gonna add a fisherman. Yeah, come back. We might lose a couple more colonists due to starvation, but that's unfortunate. But I think we'll be in a better spot, especially once we get through this winter. Children are being born. We're starting at 66, so we lost, or sorry, 56. We lost about 10. 10, uh, 10 colonists. That was pretty rough. Okay. Down to one miner, one stone cutter. Or, sorry, two stone cutters. No physicians, which is not good. Um, okay, so I think what I'll do next is like the next laborer that comes on, I'll put a, on um, put as a physician. I'm going to hold on building houses for now and just focus on getting our food stockpile back up. Go from there. Cool. But yeah, it's been a couple days since I played Banish, actually. to get through um, Halloween here in the States, but now that we're back... Okay, I've got a library. I'm going to put him as a physician. But yeah, now that we're back, I'm looking forward to playing more Banished. The other game I really want to play is um, um, Kingdoms, which I think goes into Early Access this week. So might do a Let's Play of that, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I get the time. My schedule has been pretty dang busy, at least the la for the last week, but hopefully I'll start to slow down a little bit here. Okay, the food stockpile is... holding moderately, at least for now. We'll see. But we're in early spring, so we've made it through winter. Time to bring those farmers back to work. Build up more of that stockpile. And more of those laborers. I think once... Hmm. Do want to start getting more miners? I think what I'll probably do is actually take a stone cutter off and put a mine cutter on, or a mine cutter. Jeez Louise, a miner on. And then I'll probably open this farm up to be um, to be worked as soon as we get another laborer. And then, yeah, then we'll be sitting pretty. You know, after a quarter of our people died of starvation.
cool, cool, cool. I wouldn't mind getting a ga uh, another gatherer's hut down here. I know we have one up here and we have all four rolls filled. So I think maybe once we have that farm going, I might build another gatherer's hut. That way we have some sort of um, food supply in addition to fishing during the winter. Fishing and hunting, that is. Okay, people going hungry again. Fire one iron. Slugs. The other thing I need to get are um, vendors to actually be able to distribute the food. Because we are. We just have the venison. We have kids being born. We have 18 kids. So we're back up to over 60 colonists, but just need some laborers, really. Just need laborers. Miner died. Okay, so we're down to one miner and one stone cutter. Yeah, not looking too pretty. Not looking too pretty at all. More people are going hungry. Okay, so we lost the miner. A vendor died of starvation. That's not great. Okay, so we finally got one. Oh my lord. Gatherer died of starvation. Yeah, we are... In a bit of a pickle. So we lost a farmer. Oh, okay, that was someone. Gatherer died. Child died of starvation. I'm hesitant to uh, take anybody else off these jobs, but I might take the stone cutter off just because we really don't need them. Oh man. Hunter died, so got replaced. That's alright. Okay, we have some food coming from these farms now. Just keep building up this food stockpile and seeing what we can do. Okay, we are fifty five, fifty six. Unfortunately, I think we just have a problem where a lot of our population is now really young. 
and we don't have the laborers to uh, to work and gather what we need. Well, let's see. We'll see what we can do. <clears throat> Taylor's passed away. Yeah, some of these jobs might start to disappear. I might... Our supply of firewood is quite good. It's quite high. I think I will probably... Take somebody off that and put them on gathering. We only have one miner. No stone cutters. The only problem is we only have one vendor. So the food's not getting distributed. Okay, let's put somebody on that duty. Get two vendors working. So it's autumn, the food's been harvested, and we're only at 16. Oof. Oof. Do we have any? We don't have anybody as a trader. We got pumpkin and pecan. Pecans. Make a pie. Oh, that's alright. Might. I think the next person I'd probably take off is the cleric. Maybe? Yeah, I think next I'll probably build up because we have a hunting cabin down here. We just need... I might build another gathering hut. Gatherer's hut. And have them collect some food. As long as we can get some laborers coming in, I think we can focus on building a couple of these other... The other gatherer's hut, we can focus on building this, or getting somebody to work that farm. And we'll be able to replenish our food supply. Now once that's done, we have the housing, population will bounce back. And we can replenish some of these rolls. But I think that's just what we need to focus on right now. It was just food. All food, all the time. And that's alright. We'll bounce back. And we're still over 50. I mean, we're still at 56. Well, there you go. 57 colonists. So we're still doing pretty well. This is the problem is now they're all so young. But that's all right. They will grow up. We will have enough food. It'll just take a little while. That's all right. More mineral of winter. We can just keep that roll empty for right now. Yeah. And really just wait for another laborer to come in, and that's what we're going to have to do. And honestly, guys, I think that's where I'm going to call it a day right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Our firewood supply is low. At least we're in late winter. <laughs> so things keep going. Definitely keep going our way. But I think this is where I'm going to have to call it for today, guys. But next time, please join me. I hope you're enjoying it. I know we are looking like we're in dire straits. But I think we'll be just fine as time goes on. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this series.
yeah, please like, subscribe if you are. Stay tuned for the next episode of our Banished Let's Play. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. See ya.